Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and I was so excited. The other day, I was at the Animal Kingdom, and I looked at the merchandise in Pandora, and I saw this uh, mech action figure. And that's something I've always been saying when Pandora Force first opened. You know, I saw these Navi uh, plushies, but I was thinking, man, they should have made some, some mech suits from the, uh, from the Avatar movie. Now, uh, this particular mech suit is not from the first Avatar movie. Um, this is a uh, utility, utility, utility suit um, from the uh, Pandora Con Conservation Initiative, the PCI. And uh, you don't see these in the first movie. You might see them in the uh, next few movies, though. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Pandora, which was based on Avatar, is uh, loosely based on the first movie and also on the next three movies that are planned by James Cameron, but they haven't been released yet. So I think this might make an appearance in uh, one of the upcoming movies. Otherwise, uh, these definitely do make appearances in, uh, in Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You can see uh, their entertainment actors walking around in these uh, mech suits, which I think are, you know, stilts. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna unbox this uh, action figure. And before I do, let me read this. It says on the back, the Pandora Conservation Initiative, or PCI, is a group of scientists and researchers who study the world of Pandora. These experts are dedicated to learning all they can about the about Pandora's ecosystem and to wait, educating others about the moon's incredible life forms. So let's go open this up. It's really heavy, by the way. It's it seems like a robust build. I'm trying to figure out how to open this. I might just have to destroy it, unfortunately. There's usually a way to unhinge this, and it'll all just unravel. I don't think I'm going to find that method, though. But yeah, when the movie came out, they were selling um, mech suits from the RDA. That's kind of what the... Uh, like, some of the bad guys were using them for military uh, means. But this particular suit seems to be um, used mainly by the scientists and researchers. So it seems to be a very peaceful suit. It does not seem to have any military capabilities on it, but maybe there's some kind of a defense system in case they do need to defend themselves. But uh, this movie, oh, sorry, um, Pandora, the uh, theme park area, takes place about a generation after the first movie. And this is when the humans and the Navi are living in peace with each other again. All right, I guess we gotta use the scissors for this. It's like stuck here. See, apparently uh, James Cameron was supposed to make this movie like right after Titanic, but they didn't have the uh, technology yet to do what he wanted to do. So, I guess it, it only came out more recently. Ow. Sorry guys. I'm like almost bleeding right now. <laughs> All right, it's out. All right, so um, the box says this is fully articulate. Now they got twisties on the back here, which to save time, I might just cut right through it. Let's just not cut my finger again. But yeah, it's cool. If you ever go to Disney Animal Kingdom, uh, every so often you can see these uh, actors come out in these mech suits. It's really awesome. And then they talk about uh, their, you know, their mission. So uh, it's really heavy. I mean, for an action figure, it's pretty darn heavy. He might fall. But let's see. It, it articulates. So let's see how, how much it articulates. It's cool, but there's a human driver right here. I don't think the human actually moves. He's just more of a decoration. But this, look at that. There's like full range of motion up here. And this moves. I almost cut this off. I thought that was a twisty. I'm glad I didn't. Oh, the hands move. Wait. Yeah, the hands also move. The, it articulates at the wrist. Whoa. Let's see the legs here. The legs don't move as much. 
but it does do this. Let's see if it, all right. It kind of moves at the heel as well. It has the. Oh yeah, it says PCI right here, and that's the uh, Pandora Conservation Conservation Initiative. Initiative. There you go. <laughs> There's so many acronyms when you go to Pandora. <laughs> they have ACE, which is Alpha Centauri Expedition. Um, RAD or RDA, which was the, you remember what that was? Uh, uh, I don't remember the what it stands for. Gotcha, but, but that's that's who they worked for in the first movie, and then they things went went wrong, and then they went to war with the Navi, and that was really bad. Um. Oh yeah, so let me measure this. This figure stands at. Let's see. I guess up to the shoulder blade here. Or up to the shoulder. What is that? Okay, I don't know if I'm doing that right. Looks to be almost 11 inches. And just looking at the uh, the human uh, driver, if he was out of this box and standing straight up, I, I imagine he would be about uh, 7 inches tall, maybe. So uh, this is about a 1 10 scale action figure. So if you ever see my RC car videos, he would be at on scale with him. Uh-oh. <laughs> the PCI has determined some indigenous life form from Pandora must... What is that? Uh, it? okay. uh, it's definitely not an, an Ekron. It, it might actually be an invasive species from uh, from planet Earth. I think they uh, might have accidentally uh, brought some, some feline uh, uh, creatures back to the planet. I don't think the Navi is going to be very happy with that. <laughs> But yeah, this is really cool though, really heavy. Um, now, when I bought this, I got it for $24.99 plus tax. And that's at uh, Pandora's uh, gift shop at Disney's Animal Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. And as far as I know, this only came out recently, probably May. I mean, it definitely came out in May. And they also came out with some new pins and um, I think mag... Oh, magic bands, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, here's one of the uh, magic bands. This is from the, uh... This is the opening day. Yeah, opening day. Opening day Magic Band. So it's pretty cool. It's actually not mine. It's, it's actually... It's a, mine. It's Heather's. <laughs> it's one of my favorite movies. It's one of my favorite movies, guys. <laughs> and also one of the most successful movies of all time. Which is pretty extraordinary. Uh, I know a lot of people are, are talking about how successful the, the Endgame Marvel movie was. But that took... How many movies did that take to get there? What, 20, 20 movies to get to that success? This only took one movie to reach that success. And it did so without any uh, comics to uh, build up to it. Whereas Marvel movies, they... You know, I love the Marvel movies, but they had over 60, 70, 80 years to establish a story. This was an original story. Well, that's kind of argumentative, but it was an original concept. And then they achieved all that success with that one movie. But anyways, uh, I want to talk about this action figure, and I think it's really cool. Yeah. I was kind of hoping it would have been an RC form, but this is really cool, too. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, look at that. Let me show it's back. Because the cameraman's getting uh, uh, restless over there. He's no, like, I just didn't see the back yet. What does that say? There's something on it. Oh, it has, like, a little warning on the back. It probably says, do not expose to uh, the Ekron. <laughs> Can you see it? It's so tiny. Here, let, let, let me check. Where's it at? Oh, warning. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I would have to use a magnifying glass for that. <laughs> There's another one up here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's like, probably like a high voltage warning. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to cut it there. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, check out the new merchandise at Pandora.